You know, arrows are something that, I mean, gosh, going back to the beginning of the time I started hunting, I would talk to my buddies about, I would, you know, of course, back then we were reading magazines to try to get uh, information about, and then personal usage. And as time has passed, that hasn't changed. We're all still looking as bow hunters for what works best for us for the exact hunting situation that you're, you know, gonna be doing. And I, I'm a firm believer, you have to match the arrows to the hunts that you're looking to be doing. You know, if you're going over to Africa shooting bigger animals, some of the arrows that you may want to set up in Texas to go whitetail hunting aren't necessarily going to match based on the broadhead, the weight that you're going to want, and the performance for the different situations. So I always keep that in mind when I start talking about arrows and broadheads and bow setups. But for the typical whitetail hunter, I think you're, you're in search of an arrow that's going to be a hard hitting arrow that's going to perform well. It's got great construction. It's going to be something that if you make a good shot, on the range or in the field, you're gonna be able to clean it up and use that same arrow over and over. And about the last, a little over the last year, I've been shooting the Blackout MX6 micro diameter arrows, and I'm really impressed by their performance top to bottom for me so far. Because what I want, like I mentioned before, I want an arrow that's gonna hit the target very well, it's gonna give me the ability to have a good pass through, and it's gonna perform time and time again. How we find out about an arrow a lot of times not performing is because we've made a mistake on the right Hey, I fling them into the fence every now and then or, you know, into a, a part of the target that's tough on them and, and that's where you learn a lot about their construction and how they're going to perform or you hit the shoulder bone and, and you see different things break and, and fall apart. That's part of the performance deal and I'm not saying that every arrow is going to perform out of the MX6 box every time. You're going to have some that just things are going to go wrong but for me, I have seen this to be an incredibly tough, incredibly durable arrow. As I, as I look at this arrow and how I set them up, the MX6 insert system that you can see right here, that's the red part. I'm going to raise the, the blades on that gator broadhead and that is, you know, glued in. You're going to take your broadhead and screw it into, into there. That gives you, you know, basically about 15 to 20 percent more weight to the front of center, which helps uh, you know, that arrow have more impact energy when it hits. I believe it helps it fly better uh, when you put the micro diameter in there. And for me, the performance has been without question perfect. As I flip this arrow around, the only other change I did is I put a, a lighted knock on there. I'm a big, I love lighted knocks. I mean, I've shot them forever and I, I love to be able to watch that track, see where it goes into the, into the deer. And I know there's places that you can't necessarily use those, but for me, if it's legal, you're gonna see a lighted knock on the back of mine. Once again, as I you know flip it to the business end, for me, I've been shooting a, a 100 grain blackout gator broadhead in these MX6s, and, and the performance has been phenomenal. Uh, it flies fast, it hits hard, and so for my review as I look at this, based on last year's performance, I couldn't be happier. You're gonna see it in my quiver when I climb a tree in Kentucky, Kansas, Texas, and elsewhere this year because they've performed well for me. And for the first time in a couple years, I don't feel like I've got to be searching for an arrow. I'll be concentrating on something different. So give the Blackout MX6 a look. I think you're going to be impressed with its performance.